These are the absolute best settings for exporting your videos in DaVinci Resolve for YouTube and social media. When you are completely done with your video, come down here to the bottom of the screen in DaVinci where you see this little rocket icon and click on it. This is the deliver page. Next, what you wanna do is pick the very beginning of the video and push I on your keyboard and then find the end of your video and push O on your keyboard. That selects the in and out points of where you want to render. Next, at the top left-hand corner of your screen, you'll see a bunch of presets. Now these work well, but I like my own custom settings. So I'm gonna select custom export. Then what you wanna do is name the video and then simply just pick the location of where you wanna save the video. Then make sure that you have render selected as one single clip and then down below, if this export video option is not selected, make sure to check it. For the format, I like to select MP4. For the codec, I actually like to select H.265. Now for the timeline resolution, I personally like to work in a 1080p timeline and then right at the last minute, change it to 3840 by 2160. That way when I'm editing the video, it works a little bit smoother on my machine, but then when I wanna render it, I get the full 4K quality. So right before I go to export, I actually come down here to the cut page. And then at the top right hand corner, I'll click on this little drop down and select Ultra HD. Then when it comes time to exporting, I just keep the timeline resolution left to default. If you're working in a 1080p timeline, you can actually just select the 3840 by 2160, but you will be prompted when you try to do the final render to upscale the video. Honestly, it looks pretty good too. So either way works. Then for the frame rate, I just leave my timeline frame rate what it is. And then as far as quality goes, I make sure to select restrict to. Now with my videos, I always like to export in 4K and my videos tend to have a lot of movement in them. So I like to choose 70 to 80,000. But if you're working with 1080p footage, you could do 40,000. Then I leave everything else here default. Click on the drop down where it says advanced settings. I leave the pixel aspect ratio default. I leave the data levels at default. But for the color space tag, I like to select Rec 709. And for the gamma tag, I select Rec 709A. Now, if you're on a Windows machine or you have a calibrated monitor, you may need to select a different option here. But I'm on a Mac and I actually have a calibrated monitor with a deck link and it kind of gets complicated, but just to keep things simple, if you're on a Mac, you can use Rec 709A, and this is kind of the best option for you as of right now. Then scroll down a little bit, and you'll see a bunch of boxes that are unchecked. Hopefully they're unchecked. The top one should be checked, but you don't wanna use optimized media or proxy media footage or render cached. You don't want that for your final render. You want the highest quality from your source footage that you can get. If you're using raw footage, you can select Force to Bayer to highest quality. Then scroll back up to the top where you see the audio tab. Go ahead and select audio. Now I like to use the AAC codec. I use the constant bit rate. This is basically all default. Then click on audio normalization. Select normalize audio. In the drop down for standard, by default it's sample peak program. But since this is for YouTube, you wanna make sure that you select YouTube and this will balance the audio perfectly for your upload. All right, so let's talk about social media. Now, social media requires a vertical timeline. So if you come over here to the cut page, you can come up here to the right hand side and select portrait. Now you're working in a vertical timeline. Now with this preset, you're also going to be in 1080 by 1920, which is the maximum resolution any social media platform requires. So hop back to the deliver tab. What I like to do is the exact same steps. I pick my in and out points. But just make sure that when you select your out point, you go one frame in from the end of the video because sometimes what'll happen is you'll get like a black frame. And if you're trying to do a loop or something on social media, you don't wanna necessarily have a black frame at the end of the video. I just personally don't like it. I see it all the time. And we're gonna do the same thing. Name our video, pick the location of where we wanna save it. Now under the video tab, I like to actually do H.264 for this. I like to honestly keep all these settings relatively the same, but since we're only doing 1080 by 1920, I like to restrict the kilobits, kilobytes per second to from 20,000 up to 40,000. 30,000 is actually a pretty good sweet spot. That way you retain the detail, but also you don't make huge file sizes for social media platforms to compress the file to destroy the quality. Now, 
for the rest of this, honestly, it's all the same as before. And then you just add to render queue and render all and you're good to go.